Hey guys, okay, so back again, yeah, no, another package video. <sighs> X Farm, mate, I'll make a few old videos today because uh, looks like we're in competition. Like, every time I put a new one up, you get a new package, so I'm waiting to see what you get, mate. <laughs> right, okay, so here we go, a small package. Okay, uh, Ben's on recon, mate. This is the GCon related parcel I was talking about the other day. Um, so, here we go, guys, see what you think. It's a nice little package. Unfortunately, the geezer has not wrapped it properly because he's British and UK based sellers have no clue how to wrap things at all. But, oh well. Ooh, uh. There is it. <laughs> right, here we go, guys. It is Time Crisis 2. With GCon 45 2 or GCon 2, it's just calling it a GCon 2 light gun for the PlayStation 2. All boxed in excellent condition, well looked after by the look of it. Uh, you, you have 10 of these, and to be fair, I wish I'd bought a couple more just for collection purposes, but excellent. He could have bubble wrapped it, I mean, you know, what I mean, it's why is it with people not using bubble wrap? I mean, a bit of crap brown paper, seriously. Honestly, no dedication. And then he has the cheek to send it second class to the journal, which really winds me up. But oh well, let's have a look at it and see how we are. Just get that. Well, he sold these, by the way, uh, as new. So, I mean, it is in excellent condition. I'm just get the bloody game out. Have a look at it. There we go. Oh my god, look at that. Sealed game. It's actually, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but it's actually got the proper PlayStation seal across here. So it is a legitimate sealed game. Um, and the reason why it's foreign. <laughs> now we didn't list that in the friggin' listing. Why is it with eBay sellers are so useless? Uh, like that, it's, it's German. Can you believe it? That pisses me off. That does you know they put it on as PAL, but they don't specify. They've got it from a foreign country. They've got it from Europe. Why? You know, I mean are these people are completely incompetent or what? I mean, I don't. Sometimes I just get really pissed off with eBay. Uh, and at the moment, it seems to be one of those times because I seem to be having lots of twatty set sellers who don't have a bleeding clue what they're doing. Okay, I've got to work out. Right, okay. Just trying to work out how the gun comes out. So bear with me now, I'll try and get the gun out. Does that come out? Oh, does that come out? Absolutely fantastic. GCon 2 is a fantastic one, and I was really, really accurate. Uh, from what I remember when I first ever had this game, it was just, oh, just heaven. Uh, it's like the arcade in your home, so I'm really just to get that. The only question I have now is because it's got no English at all on the game, uh, and it's a Jerry game, sorry, German game. Does that mean that the, uh, the speech is going to be in German? That's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, as you all know, I hate the PlayStation 2, I'm not a fan at all, I think it's crap. But, this game is absolutely amazing. Um, and I've been playing Time Passes 1 on the PS1 a lot lately, and as you know, I did a gameplay video the other day. And it's just really spurred me on to get back into light gun games. Now I've got a CRT to play them as well. And this is such a fantastic game. It's just, uh, it's just got to be done. So, yeah. So, I've got to pick up a really cheap PlayStation 2, because I'm not paying a load of money for because. As I say, I probably only bought this game, and that would be it. I might get Time Crisis free. Uh, I'm not sure. I played it on the arcade, and from what I can remember, it was like uh, robots and futuristic police shit. I, I didn't really think it was very good. But I might just pick it up, just because it's quite cheap on eBay, so I might pick up a copy just to try. But I've got to uh, find a very cheap PlayStation 2 now. Uh, I'm not too sure if to get a Slimline or a Standard. I quite like the Standard, but um, Slimline's alright. Then cheap, that's any problem. Although, um, Cash Generators, when I went into Cash Generators to get my TV, they had a Slimline PlayStation 2 uh, loose with joypad uh, for £25, which is what, $55 roughly ish? Yes, that's not too bad, I mean, that's quite reasonable. Uh, it's about 50 quid on eBay box. 
so I can't mount that. But there you go, guys. Anyway, so we've got Time Crisis 2, absolutely fantastic. I've not been able to uh, track down a Time Crisis 3 box with gum yet. Uh, they all seem to be loose with gum, which is really annoying. I'd like to have a complete collection of all the box ones with guns, but can't be I think we get Time Crisis 4, and I'll have to see in. Um, I do apologise, Mark, I can't remember what your name is, but it's Mark Benjo, is it? I think it's a Dutch guy that's on, the, on YouTube, one of our fellow gamers. He had Time Crisis 4 for the PlayStation 3 the other day, which looked beautiful. Unfortunately, when I went to check it, it's still up around about 40 quid, Mark, so that's going to have to wait. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, there you go, guys, that's Time Crisis 2 for the PS2. Uh, as soon as I can pick up a cheap PS2 and I've got some money, I'll do a game plan. We'll find out if they talk German or not, because that would be quite interesting, quite funny. <laughs> Right, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll be back shortly with another one, of course. And uh, uh, hello to all my new subscribers. I've got two new subscribers today, so hi guys. Hope you're enjoying the content. And uh, I'll be back shortly. Bye for now.